swing and if you're flying, expect the airport to be busier than ever this week. Taking a live look from our sky cam outside Jacksonville International Airport, the Transportation Security Administration says it has already screened a record number of passengers this year and expects Wednesday to be the busiest yet. Nearly 3 million people are expected to travel that day alone. News for Jackson reporter Tiffany Salome live at the airport with what we all need to know for traveling, Tiffany. Well, if you haven't been to the airport in a little while, there are some new changes that you'll want to be aware of, including this brand new TSA security checkpoint. TSA has unveiled all new screening technology and added an extra lane for travelers just last week to speed up the process. We will be approaching, I think, one of our biggest travel weeks uh, in our history. The message from airport officials is clear this Thanksgiving weekend. Arrive early. The rule of thumb we like to stay with is two hours, and that's not trying to find a parking space, but two hours at the airport. And leave the weapons at home. In 2023, TSA officers have found 65 firearms at security checkpoints. And as you can see on this table, a wide variety of other prohibited items. Replica grenades, throwing stars, just a whole bunch of items that uh, really should not be in the cabin of an airplane. Airport officials say the busiest travel days will be this Wednesday, Sunday and Monday at the Jacksonville International Airport. But even today, we met some people who missed their flights. Luckily, we got uh, another six tickets for 7.15 tonight. The Kruger family is trying to make it to Washington, D.C. for Thanksgiving, but missed their noon flight. We're seeing a lot of family. There's 12 of us that are going to be in one house, and then we're running a turkey trot on Thanksgiving. Changes at TSA checkpoints are meant to speed things up, with more lanes open and a more advanced security screening process. But backups are still possible. Possible. If you bring an extra large bag, you're going to slow down the screening process. Because of these new machines, everything needs to fit in a bin that's this size. So I'm going to put my bag in here right now. You can see it fits pretty well. Anything bigger might be a problem. Some people like it, and some people are still getting used to liking it. But so what can they do to help speed up the process? Well, make sure that they're um, prepared for the process, including making sure that they have nothing on the person. Everything's packed um, in your bag when you go through the, the screening checkpoint. Uh, make sure you always you pay attention to the divest officer's instructions. Um, be listening. There is some good news with this new screening technology. You actually no longer have to take large electronics outside of your bag so you can leave the laptops and other small devices inside. If you have questions about what you can and can't bring through airport security checkpoints, I have a list posted for you on newsforjax.com. We're live at the Jacksonville International Airport. I'm Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, the local station.